These are my five top tips for making vet visits less stressful for your cat. Many of these tips are focused on the carrier that you use. Using the right carrier can make a huge difference for your cat's vet visit. Number four is my absolute top tip for cat carriers and it will transform the visit to the vet for most cats and it will also help your vet too. All adult cats should have their own box. This is true even for cats who are friends. Being in the carrier and in the car and then at the vet is really stressful and it will test the limits of even the friendliest pair. I like to compare vet visits to last minute Christmas shopping with your mum. Ordinarily, you may get on like a house on fire, but extreme circumstances can test the limits of all good relationships and it may cause you to be less than your best self. The same is true of cats sharing boxes at the vet. People are often surprised to see a normally bonded pair lash out at each other at the vet, but this happens all the time. Usually there is one dominant and one submissive cat in these scenarios and the journey is particularly stressful for the submissive cat who not only has to endure the carrier, the car and the vet but is also being attacked at close quarters in the carrier by the more dominant cat. Now of course there are exceptions, some cat pairs will not do this and they may even comfort each other so sharing a carrier may even reduce their stress. It is also not true for kittens who definitely comfort each other. Observe your cats closely for signs of aggression if they do share a carrier and please consider getting them individual carriers or taking them to the vet at different times if you think that there are any signs of aggression caused by them sharing. Tip number two involves preparing the carrier for your cat's vet visit. The majority of cats brought to the vet arrive in carriers without any bedding. Most carriers are plastic or metal so adding a bed will help to make them much more comfortable for your cat and this is particularly important for older cats. A bed will also help to absorb urine as many cats will urinate in the carrier on the way to the vet. I cannot tell you just how many cats I see that are swimming in urine when they arrive at the vet. This must be so stressful for them and is so undignified. Friends do not let friends get soaked in urine. A blanket or a towel will easily absorb the urine and when there is one present most cats arrive completely dry even if they have urinated in the carrier on the journey. Some people like to use newspaper in the cat's carrier and this is better than nothing but many newspapers are not very absorbent so often the cat still ends up wet. A blanket or a towel is much better. Many cat carriers are also not leak proof especially wicker carriers so if you do not line it with some bedding you may end up with cat urine all over your car too. This has happened to me after a house visit and the smell has persisted for years. Tip number three is to use a pheromone spray such as Feliway on the bedding in the carrier. This may help to reduce your cat's stress. I recommend that you spray this at least 15 minutes before putting your cat in the box to allow time for the alcohol in the spray to evaporate off. Tip number four is my top tip for cat carriers. It is probably the thing that will have the most positive impact on your cat's vet visit. When buying a cat carrier, consider buying one that comes easily apart. So there is a top half and a bottom half. This achieves two things. The first is that for shy cats who do not want to leave the box when at the vet, they do not need to be pulled out of the box. This can be hugely stressful for them. Instead, the lid can be lifted to allow access to your cat. The second thing this achieves is that the cat can sit on their familiar blanket in their familiar box during the vet visit. Now, I know that at home, most cats do not like the box, but in the vet, many cats will cling to the box like a life raft. It is familiar to them and it is their portal home. Many cats will try to go back into the box to hide during the consultation. So by having a top opening box, they can remain in that familiar space while they are examined. And this is so helpful for your vet too. I cannot tell you how much easier this makes my life as a vet. I am always so grateful when I see a box that opens from the top. It means that I can allow the cat to sit in the box while examining them without having to retrieve them from different hiding places in the room, a process that is also stressful for the cat. Now this does not work for all cats, but for the majority of cats, having a top opening box transforms their visit to the vet and it helps your vet too. If you have a shy cat, this is the one thing that you can do that I cannot recommend highly enough. My final tip is for those cats who strongly object to getting into their box at home. For these cats, I recommend choosing a carrier whose roof also has a wide door that opens outwards. This larger opening can help when placing your cat in the box. Alternatively, you can buy a wire carrier whose door is the roof. These carriers have the widest opening and can be the easiest carriers for these types of cats who hate getting in their box. Wire carriers are great for cats who are difficult to get into the box, but they generally do not come apart. 
so it can be a compromise for your cat during the consult, although some of the exam can still be performed with your cat sitting in the carrier, but access is not as good as boxes that come apart. That is it, those are my top tips for making your cat's vet visit less stressful. To summarise, it is important to use individual carriers for most cats, always use bedding in your cat's carrier, preferably a familiar towel or a blanket, pheromone spray may help your cat to feel less stressed, a top opening carrier can transform your cat's vet visit, and carriers with wide top opening doors can help those cats who hate being loaded into carriers. I have more resources on my website allcats.co.uk and if you have topics that you would like to see a video on please let me know and I will be happy to make them for you. See you in the next video.